hunting for shed antlers is a popular activity at this time of year. Shed hunting is, is finding a uh, dropped antler, usually from a deer, white-tailed mule deer, elk, or moose. They shed their antlers this time of year, and uh, then in the spring start growing new ones for the next season. While game and fish wildlife management areas are open year-round for public use, the increasing participation in winter shed hunting is starting to generate concerns in some areas. The issue is, is the added stress that people are putting on our wildlife species, you know, particular deer, walking food plots or walking areas with large concentrations of deer and continually displacing these deer day after day after day in an effort to try to find a shed antler. Wildlife management areas provide a variety of winter habitat near food sources to limit the distance animals have to travel during the cold winter months. So we can end up with some large concentrations of deer and it's just the responsible thing to do not to continually pressure those deer at such a stressful time of year. While some states have established restrictions or require permits for shed hunting, game and fish wildlife managers are taking a different approach. So we want people to use our areas, but we want them to use them you know, correctly. And so one of the things that we're trying to do is actually start the education process, why this is an important issue to be addressing. One of the first steps in that effort will be signs placed at select management areas that might harbor high numbers of wintering wildlife. Something like this that we can you know, erect in the future to limit disturbance in those key wildlife areas where we have lots of critters that just don't need that additional disturbance. If you run across one of those areas while taking part in any winter outdoor activity, it's best to keep your distance. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.